All the hot girls make it pop, pop, pop. Bad bitches with the bag say, ay, ay, ay. If he ain't talking about no money, tell him bye, bye, bye. And if you see a mad hoe, tell her, ha, ha, ha. Hey, don't get mad, ho. Get, mad. get a bag, ho. Don't get mad, ho. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley Yanni, And today I will be showing you guys 10 quick and easy hairstyles that you can do on your medium to long hair. You guys know I big chopped about two years ago and this is how long my hair has been growing. It's not ha it hasn't been exactly two years yet. I think it's, hold on, January, March. Yeah, so about a year and nine months into my um, hair journey. I'm not gonna lie, I have been straightening my hair a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my hair is still curly. I'll insert a picture right now. So as you can see, it's still, you know, doing this thing, flourishing or whatever. And yeah. So if you guys would like to see how to get these hairstyles, just continue to keep watching. So for the first hairstyle, we're just gonna make a part from ear to ear meeting in the middle. And we're just going to use a brush and make it nice and smooth. And we're gonna use that hair elastic on my wrist to wrap this bitch up. So we're just gonna tighten it as well because I like my ponytails tight. Now we're gonna take a small piece of hair from the back, smooth it out with the brush, and wrap it around the base of our ponytail to hide the elastic. This is just to give it a more elevated look. If you like a more bold look like me, you can just take a chain or like one of those gold elastic thingies and wrap it around the base of your ponytail for a more glammed up look. This is, you know, for people who's extra like me. <laughs> of course, we can't forget our baby hair, so make sure you do yours any way you would like. And this is hairstyle number one, sis. <laughs> So for the second hairstyle, we're just starting by creating a middle part. And this is another half up, half down hairstyle. So we're just sectioning off a piece in the back for the hair that's gonna be down. So once you do that, put the hair in the back away and then tie away the other side that you're not paying attention to. So we're gonna just comb out our hair, make it nice and smooth, take out our baby hairs that we want out, and we're gonna start braiding. So we're just going to braid this until all the hair is all nice. And then we're just going to take an elastic and wrap it around it. So I'm just going to tighten that and then we're going to separate this into two sections and do a two strand twist. And then after that, we're just going to wrap it around itself like a bantu knot and use an elastic to keep it in place. And of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So pow, there we go. We have two buns. As you can see, I just took the back section out and there you go, two buns. <laughs> now to spice this one up, you're gonna do it Chung Lee style, feel me? And we just gonna take two bobby pins and stick this across in our buns, hot cross buns. <laughs> Get it girl, ow. So for hairstyle number three, it's gonna be nice and simple. All we're doing is keeping that middle part there, taking out the little hairs that we want on the side, and we're just smoothing out our hair, pushing it to the back. On With this style, you can have two options. You can use bobby pins. Right here, I'm just putting three straight forward and one across. And next, we can use the snap clips. And I just use three do your baby hair as you would like them to be and after that this style is done girl this is style number three quick and easy and chic <laughs> the fourth hairstyle we're getting a little more fancy what we're going to do is we're going to do a zigzag part so we're going to part diagonally diagonally <laughs> and then make a part in the opposite way starting from where we ending the part just look and see what I'm doing and we're just gonna follow that zigzag pattern to the back of our head. Once we have our two sections, we're just gonna put the one that we're not doing away and we're gonna smooth out and you know, brush up these hairs, man. Put elastic in it and after we put the elastic, that's it. We're just gonna tighten it and pull and add these little snap clips, girl. And 
and of course what you do to one side you do to the other so you know it's just two ponytails with snap clips and baby hairs you know regular regular easy stuff that you could do I know this hairstyle makes me look 12 and it's kind of childish but it's hella cute and it fits my style so I like it Ooh, I'm a kid again <laughs> For hairstyle number five, we're just gonna build off the last hairstyle. But for this hairstyle, we're going to take our ponytails, do it in two sections like we did for the buns in the other style, and you know, wrap it around like a bantam knot and secure it with the elastic. And of course, I'm a Nikki fan, so you know, Chungly again be sticking the two bobby pins in these buns, girl. I'm extra when it comes to my hair. I like my hair to match my outfit, like, extra. <laughs> so I'm just, uh, I like messy hairstyles, if you couldn't tell already. But, so I just like to, you know, pick out some hairs on the side of my face and the back of my hair, you know. I don't care if it's too neat, but I just, you know, as long as it's cute. <laughs> hairstyle number six we're just going to create a deep side part and we're gonna make a l-shaped part actually just to make it easier for us to control our hair and to keep it in place so from the back section of that part we're just gonna comb the hair to the front and swoop it with our hands and we're just gonna swoop the other side too I mean it's easier to just see what I'm doing and now we're just gonna smooth it down with the brush before we put it in a ponytail you know making sure everything's where they where it needs to be and before I actually put an elastic I'm just gonna put some bobby pins to secure and keep the swoop in place and then after that I'm just gonna tie up the rest of the hair into an elastic And what really transforms this look from not being so basic is the baby hairs, girl. So you better sprawl out them baby hairs, them. <laughs> and I'm just using my, obviously, my toothbrush to do that. And I love doing little side swoops by my ear. That just makes everything look so extra and, like, I don't know. It makes it everything come together for me. So I love doing that for every hairstyle. So I'm just going to brush it until I get it to how I like. And here's hairstyle number six, bitch. Do you see the glasses? Do you see the baddie though? Giving you side profile. Ooh. Do you see the glow though? Ooh. Giving you style with the bobby pins. <laughs> For hairstyle number seven, we definitely keeping this swoop trend going because I love a good ass swoop. So we're just going to part our little hairs to create our swoop. After that, we're just going to put that to the side, create a part in the middle from the back. It does not have to be neat because, you know, I like my styles a little messy. And we're just going to grab the hair and make a regular braid down, a regular plait, tie it off, leave a little, you know, E or tail at the bottom. That's what I call it. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And once that's done, we're just going to work on our swoop. So y'all know how this goes, we're just going to comb the hair forward and use our hand to swoop it behind our ear. We're going to secure it with a bobby pin, two bobby pins, to keep it in place. And we're just going to lift the braid up, pull the excess hair under the braid, and then when you turn to the back, we're just going to, if your hair is short, perfect, but mine is a little bit too long, I had to flip mine over again. And we're just going to use those snap clips to hide where the hair is. And then just to make it look like it's a style on purpose, we're just going to put some snap clips on the other side. And then this is how the back's going to look. And then here's the front. Real cute, you know. Oh, I was telling you guys that you can use a chain to wrap it around. You can use that same gold string to intertwine it within your braid. I didn't have one. But here's hairstyle number seven, girl. For hairstyle number eight, 
uh, I'm just in love with this swoop so we're just going to section our swoop off again comb all our hair up because this time we're doing a high bun so I'm just gonna take my brush to smooth all the hair out and then take my elastic to secure my ponytail girl So with this swoop, I'm just gonna not really secure it yet, but I'm just gonna line out where I think I would want it. So I'm just gonna swoop with my fingers like I always do, and then just put the snap clip just to temporarily hold it while I work on my bun. So for the bun, I'm just gonna take a section of the hair and wrap it up to give me some volume in the middle. And I'm just gonna secure that with another uh, snap clip or bobby pin just to give some height to my bun and then I'm gonna take the remaining hair and create two sections I'm gonna wrap one around one way and then wrap the, uh, the rest of the hair around the opposite way just to create a high you know ninja bun so for the swoop I'm taking out the snap clips and then I'm combing up that hair that's there fixing my swoop how I want it and instead of securing it right away I'm just gonna flip it up and then use the snap clips to Hold the hair up so I can lead the remaining hair into the bun. Kind of confusing, but if you watch <laughs> the video, you'll know exactly what I mean. I should already know what's missing. Yes, the baby here. So, of course, I got to do my little swoops by the air. I told y'all I'm incomplete without it. <laughs> and I'm just swooping the remaining baby hairs that's out. You know, making it look real cute and put together. And this is hairstyle number eight. Yeah. Bomb, right? Yeah, I know. Y'all should try it. <laughs> and I don't mind the messiness. If you don't like messy hair, girl, my video not for you. But this is just how it looks all around. So for the ninth hairstyle, what we're going to do is comb our hair all to one side. Then we're going to create a part from ear to ear, a small part at the front of our head. And whatever we're not doing right now, of course, we got to secure that hair away so, the, so it doesn't get in the way. And we're just going to make a braid, a regular French braid. Don't braid it too tight because we will be trying to fluff out and you know make it effortless looking also when you're braiding your hair don't braid it all the way down to the end because you have to pull that elastic down like how I did right here in order to fluff up the braid so if you need more room just make sure you have enough to slide the elastic down to allow you to fluff it up more so right now I'm just playing with my baby hairs like always. You can do yours however you please. If you want to use edge control, you can do that. So for the back, I'm just gonna part it right down the middle and I'm just going to wrap the elastic around about two or three times and then the last time I'm not gonna pull the hair all the way through. Just like that and then I'm gonna pull from the bottom of the ponytail just to fluff out the bun and right here I'm just put fluffing out the hairs that's on top and we're gonna do the exact same for the other side but we're just gonna hide the ends of that braid in that ponytail bun type thing <laughs> if you get what I'm saying just make sure that the braid is on top so when you you know pull through it'll be tucked inside your bun and I'm just fluffing it out to match the other side and here's hairstyle number nine of course with me going at the baby hairs but <laughs> you know baby hairs always gotta look elite <laughs> the little air soup girl I told you I can't live without it <laughs> fluffing it out some more and here's the final look number nine hey we're almost done <laughs> I'm always have my tongue out. So for the last style, what we're gonna be doing is making a part on either side of our head because we're trying to create a section in the middle. So we're creating a little box in the front of our head. Then we're just gonna put the rest of the hair away for now. And we're just gonna do a French braid going straight back. 
So we're not going to braid it all the way down to the end, but we're just going to braid it a little bit further just so we can have enough room. Because like the other hairstyle, we're going to be pulling this braid apart. So after you put the, ela the, <laughs> the elastic, slide it down a bit and then fluff up your braid. So now with the rest of the hair, we're just going to take our brush and brush it all the way up into a high pony, but also we're going to add that braid into it. So when we brush our hair up and add our hair to the ponytail, we're just going to pull the braid forward so it can fluff up a bit. You know how back in the days how we used to do the little hump in the front and the bun in the back? This is kind of a more adult version of that. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of the look we're going for. So I like my braid to be really fluffed up. And then I'm just going to take my elastic and wrap it around my ponytail. Pull my ponytail through, tighten it, and fluffing up my ponytail as well. And here you go. So I'm just going to do simple baby hairs for this. And to spice it up, I'm taking that same chain. And I'm going to be wrapping that around this ponytail. Because you know... Being extra is me. I don't know how many times I'm going to say in this video, but yeah. And this is the 10th and final style. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like me and you like how I am or whatever, please check down the other videos on my channel. Make sure you like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. What you would like to see me do next, hair, makeup, I, I, talking to you guys. If you guys want me to do a girl talk, just let me know. Comment down some subjects down below. And, you know, follow me on all my social media. Everything is Ashley Liani on everything. Every social media site you could figure. You could figure. You could think of. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, you don't need a fatty to be a baddie. Because <laughs> I don't have one. I have a... Let's see. <laughs>